on how's COVID-19 and the global pandemic affecting teenage girls? Mm. Yeah, it's a very good question, Tracy. The global pandemic has really impacted our teenage girls, in particularly those in their senior year of high school, uh, being socially isolated from their friends, um, being stuck at home with their parents 24-7, and um, maybe not getting as much support needed for um, with their teachers. What kind of manifestations are we seeing of that? Are there behavioural problems, emotional issues, for example? Yeah, yeah. Depending on the uh, type of nature, I'd like to I like to classify uh, four different behaviour types in people. So they're they're either an eagle, a parrot, and a dove or an owl. So depending on the type of personality that that the child has, will have a significant impact on their um, their mental health and their academic uh, achievement. That's fascinating. Can you break that, some of those down for me? What are those different personality types just briefly and how are they each responding? Yeah, sure, sure. So if you're a team that is actually of an eagle, when you think of an eagle, they're usually quite um, empowering and they're, they're swooping up in big picture and they're quite independent creatures and they're very, um, I guess for them, their middle name is Just Do It. So they're the quite, quite personality styles that will just get on with the job. Um, the second one is is the parrot. Now, when you think of a parrot, they're usually quite colourful, they're quite loud, they're quite animated, they're very social creatures. So, so if they're being isolated at home, they might find it quite challenging to be away from their, their friends and that, that peer group being in a big classroom environment. Uh, the third one is the, the dove. So when you think of a dove, they're usually quite timid, quite quiet. They're the peacekeepers of the of the group. So they're the ones that don't want to rock the boat. And they, they can be quite introverted as well. And so may not put their hand up to ask for help when needed. And the fourth bird is the owl. So if you have a team that's more of an owl characteristic, then they're the ones that, um, as they're growing up, they're the ones that always ask, but why, but why, but why, and get quite frustrated parents. We get frustrated with this why. So they're the ones that are, um, they like to be quite organised and they like to have a routine and structure. So because of this disruption, it may have thrown their structure out of whack and increased their anxiety levels. That is fascinating. So what can parents do at this time for their teenage girls to help them through, or is it different advice for each particular type of character. If, if you, you're a parent that's more of an eagle and they're quite um, dominating and they're quite just do it and you've got uh, an owl type personality at home, teenager, then if you're constantly going just do it, this, this teenager will retreat and feel like they're being overly criticised and will prevent them from moving forward in their in their studies and mental health well-being. Also, just, um, just finally, what is your message to teenage girls who might be watching this out here? Look, this isn't forever and I do understand that uh, being at home with your parents 24-7, brothers and sisters and whoever else you have at home is going to be quite challenging. Uh, but I'll tell you what, this, um, and this will set you up for the real world. So all I can say is go out there, be you, have courage and live life without limits. Thank you so much, Paula. A pleasure. Thank you for having me.